In the case of a concave mirror, we can consider different positions of the object. So first one, as usual, like we can consider the object to be at infinity. Then the image will be formed at the principal focus. How is it formed at the principal focus? For us to understand this, what can we do is, we will take a parallel beam of light. Because the object is at infinity, we will consider the rays of light from the object received at the mirror to be parallel beam. And this parallel beam, let us consider to be parallel to the principal axis. Therefore, when they are incident on the uh, spherical mirror, that is concave mirror, after reflection, we know that the reflected beam will pass through the principal focus. That means, when the object is at infinite distance, all the rays coming from the object after reflection at the concave mirror will pass through the principal focus. So, image is formed at the principal focus. So, because there are different rays which are convergent at the focus. So, these convergent point, the point where these two or three different rays converge, that point will be the point where the image is formed. So, in this case here when the object is at infinity, the image is formed at the principal focus. Because the image is formed at infinity and this is a concave mirror, the image formed thus will be inverted with respect to the object. That means, when the object is erect, this is upside down. The image formed is upside down. And it is very, very small. We mean to say highly diminished in size. And third one is like, third point is it is very real image. Real image in the sense, which can be caught on a screen. Now, other position what we can consider is, other than infinity, we can bring it closer towards the uh, mirror and we can maintain it at a distance beyond center of curvature. Now, the object need not be at infinite distance, but it is beyond center of curvature. When I say object is beyond center of curvature, I can say the object distance is greater than radius of curvature. In such a case, we need to consider again two rays coming from the one particular point on the object. Then try to understand where after reflection these two divergent rays coming from a single point on the object will coincide. So we can use the rules whatever we have learnt earlier and then draw the light rays so as to construct the position of the image formed. That means the object distance is greater than the radius of curvature which is represented by R. So, we will take a ray from the point O on the object. That light ray will be parallel to the principal axis. It will strike the concave mirror and then once it reflects, it will pass through the principal focus of the mirror. Okay. Then that will action go on. We will take another light ray from the point O of the object OJ and then this time here it passes through the principal focus. We know that the light ray which is passing through the principal focus after reflection will pass parallel to the principal axis. So, second light ray will pass through F and again passes parallel to the principal axis. Now, these two reflected rays which are divergent are meeting at the point I. So, that means it is the position of the image, image of the point O of the object. If you can see the foot of the image IG, which is G, is lying between the center of curvature of the concave mirror and the principal focus, which means the image distance, which is generally denoted by the letter V, the image distance is less than the radius of curvature. Okay, because it is falling much before the center of curvature between the pole of the mirror and the center of curvature. But the say at the same time, this image is formed beyond the point F. Okay. So, that means the image distance is greater than the focal length of the mirror. So, however, again this time also, if you see the position of the image of the object O, point O is formed at I. So, O is at the top position and I is at the bottom position. So, the image formed is inverted. Still, it is diminished, which means that it is of lesser in size compared to that of the object. Third point is like it is inverted, it is real and diminished. The image is inverted, so that means inverted with respect to the object, 
it is lesser in size so we say it is diminished and it is real image that means again at the position where the image is formed at the same position if we place a screen we will be able to observe the image on the screen so that is the reason we will say it as real image okay but you can see it is not highly diminished image okay and it is not formed at the principal focus when we compare the situation to the previous case where the object is at infinity now the size of the image is little bit increased okay it is not the point image dimensional image it is having certain dimensions measurements okay so it is gradually increasing now let us see when we further move the object towards the concave mirror little bit ahead and then how the image form will change when we move the object little bit closer to the concave mirror and now place it at the position c that means it is placed at the center of curvature so in this case the object distance is equal to the radius of curvature fine so again because the object is placed at the center of curvature we cannot take a second light ray which can pass through the center of curvature so we are taking from the position of the object oj object oj at the from the position o we are taking so one light ray is already passing parallel to the principal axis after reflection it is passing through the principal focus so second light ray again we will consider from the point o of the object and again it passes through the principal focus now after reflection this ray will pass parallel to the principal axis if you can observe then the image is formed exactly at the same position c now here if you observe the size of the object and size of the image both are equal in fact object size will not change it is only the image size which is changing so we need to compare the size of the image with respect to that of the object so in this case the image size is equal to that of the object so and second one is like the image is inverted okay so upside down it is also again formed at the same position c which implies that image distance is now is now equal to the radius of curvature so it is a special case where the object size and image size both are equal and then the image distance is equal to the object distance so both are equal to the radius of curvature okay which is equal to twice the focal length so the properties of the image when the object is placed at center of curvature is the image formed is inverted it is real that means again if we place the screen at the center of curvature position then we will be able to observe the image on the screen and third one is like it is equal in size so you are observing gradually the image size is increasing in earlier it was diminished now when the object is placed at center of curvature okay the object the image size has become equal to that of the object so now we can one can guess that what will happen when the object is brought little bit closer to the concave mirror okay let us see that now when we keep the object between the position c and f like here if we see c and f in the sense the object distance is greater than the focal length but it is less than the radius of curvature what's happening as usual we will consider one light ray parallel to the principal axis after reflection is passing through the principal focus second light ray again we need to consider it passing through the principal focus after reflection it will pass parallel to the principal axis now if you see the point where these two rays after reflection are meeting the converging at a point okay then what i am observing is it is nothing but the point where beyond c okay the the two rays are meeting beyond c clear so the position of the image is formed beyond center of curvature and now if you observe it is magnified the size of the image is greater than that of the object it is no doubt inverted with respect to the object say it is inverted real again real in the sense if we keep the if we keep a screen at the place where the image is formed we will be able to observe it on the screen so now it is magnified now it's very clear that as we move the object towards the mirror the image is moving away from the mirror 
now when i am placing the object at the position of focus principal focus what's happening is the one light ray i am considering to be parallel to the principal axis after reflection again passing through the focus only so the foot of the object is at the principal focus the light ray from the top of the object which is going parallel to the principal axis after reflection is passing through the focus okay then the second light ray i will take the light ray which appears to pass through the center of curvature okay so i will take a light ray from the center of curvature to the point o of the object that is the uh, mirror concave mirror and again once it is because it is passing through the center of curvature it will be incident normally on the spherical mirror that is concave mirror and then it will retrace its path if you observe that these two light rays which are reflected from different positions on the concave mirror these two reflected rays are parallel to each other one passing through the center of curvature and another passing through the principal focus which implies that when two reflected rays are parallel they are not meeting it means that the uh, in image is formed at infinite distance assuming that the at image at infinity they may be a chance that they will meet okay so the image is formed at infinite distance clear so now we will try to bring the object much closer that means we'll place it before between f and p the pole of the mirror and then try to observe what kind of image will be formed when the object is placed between the pole of the mirror and the uh, what we call uh, principal focus okay then here we can take one light ray from the object o and which is passing parallel to the principal axis after reflection it is passing pa through the focus okay then second light ray as usual we can take it through the center of curvature so the light ray which is taken through the center of curvature will retrace its path so now these two rays reflected rays one passing through the focus and another passing through the center of curvature as you see these two are divergent that means as you move away from the mirror these two are moving apart they cannot meet at a point okay they are divergent so what we'll do is we will try to reproduce them behind the mirror these two reflected rays we will reproduce them back these two rays divergent rays where they are appearing to meet that is the point where the image of the point o of the object is formed so image ig is now formed behind the mirror so once it is formed behind the mirror now it is a virtual image it cannot be caught on a screen so we cannot place a screen and the back of the mirror and expect an image to be formed on it right so it is a virtual image and then not only virtual the other thing is like it is erect with respect to the object it is not upside down but still it is magnified the size of the image is greater than that of the object so the, this particular case of the concave mirrors where you will use in the field of dentistry like when the doctor has to when the dentist has to see a magnified images of the inner parts of the teeth he will take a plate which appears to be like a concave mirror and places it close to the uh, places it inside the mouth so as to, it is close to so that it is close to the teeth so that the object for the mirror is much closer than its focal length <coughs> okay when it is much closer than the focal length than the focus then obviously we'll get a magnified view of the teeth and helps the doctor diagnose it